for two days, afraid that you would be angry they closed up your arch, angry that you didn't well, I like it. Your part. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so worried that I was going to be so happy, and she wasn't. So I'm just glad that she's as happy as I am. And there's a whole game room sitting area over here. Oh, wow. Yes. Right? Yes. It's so much more intimate. You have awesome. all these intimate spaces. Yep. I I'm... love it. <laughs> yeah, man, great job. You totally bumped it. Yes. <laughs> oh. They were right. so awesome. nervous. They were in a, like a practical knockdown drag out with Hildy. And my ladder is no. gone. Your oh, ladder no. is gone. <laughs> They like it. They do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know how to style. Oh, my God. You look so awesome. Do you like it? Oh, Here comes the, oh, the wow. whole team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were so worried. Vicky's fear of Julie's is worse than Julie's fear of Julie. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and you know what? Um, you can find uh, bar stools if you want at Home Depot with $500. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> I'm Paige Davis. That's another episode of Trading Spaces. See you next time. Hey, bye. bye. I don't read. You don't read? No, I don't. If it's not on a tape measure, I don't read it. Team over here. So which side do you want me to? I'm gonna just just get in your way like this. Oh, what we forgot to toolbox. tell you is we're going to hang these from the ceiling. Hello, kitty. Cat likes the room. It's a moving up space odyssey. Captain's log, 2369. With questionable style. It absolutely captures what we want to see in our house. Not enough room. It's been, uh, you know, an issue with my comic books, but now I'm finally going to be able to have their own room. With only four weeks before the holidays, will they be able to defy the laws of physics and get it all done? No tenemos nada. It's horrible. When the old owners return, will they be feeling the funkiness? So are you ready to go downstairs and see your old basement? Do I have to? Or be dancing right out the door? I like the kitchen better the way we had it. What? After dating since high school, Long Islanders Daniela and Jeff have just got married and are buying their first home together. You get married, you need a house, so that's the next, the next big thing for us. They have been crashing in Jeff's grandmother's attic for four years and are more than ready for a space of their own. Finding the house was like finding a, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I mean, I saw it and I was like, this is it. I would describe our decorating style as eclectic and modern. This is something that we would consider to be an eclectic piece. It definitely appealed to me because nobody has a glass head in their room. There's nothing appealing about a green head. I'm gonna smash it. That's why I like it. Splat. This is another uh, piece that I would say describes our style to a T. It's definitely something that no one else has, so. It absolutely captures what we want to see in our house. You've got to be kidding, right? This space-loving couple is buying this unspacious house for $315,000 from Brian and Kim. Brian is a solar power technician and a whiz with a lightsaber. And Kim, a school teacher. They've been married for 13 years, have three boys, and have been living in this tiny house on the North Shore of Long Island for seven years. We live two blocks from the beach, so we were inspired to do the house in kind of a beachy, you know, motif. They put a lot of work into this home, so leaving won't be easy. In the last seven years, we've, of course, had uh, many family memories here. It's going to be sad to move. I mowed the lawn for the last time, I think. Eager to put their own out-of-this-world design spin on their new home, Danielle and Jeff take me on a tour before closing. Well, Doug, this is our living room. This is our new living room. What would be the first thing that you have to change walking into this space? The paint, the color. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's too beigey, too blah. Is blah how the old owners see this space? We love this room because of the color. We love, it's kind of that beach color and gives it a nice open feeling to it. Well, it's very cluttered, this yeah, room, so clutter. everything's got to go. You speak Spanish 
and Italian. Yes. Okay, you're a teacher, mm -hmm. right? Will you put a Spanish and Italian uh, feel into this space at all? We're taking this house from the beach blah to the old world Tuscan funk. Okay, great. Whatever the heck that is. <laughs> Up next, the kitchen. This is our kitchen. Are you proud of your kitchen? We are not proud at all of this kitchen. It's that same blah theme we got going on here. That, um, I want to say the shrine to the beach theme. <laughs> That has to go. That is definitely, uh, we won't be kneeling at that altar no. at all anytime <laughs> soon with the candles. I don't know what they were trying to achieve there. The shelf here is a really great spot to show off, you know, decorations. It's always been nice to look at and central to the kitchen, so it's really nice. What bothers you about this kitchen? We definitely have to get rid of these cabinets as uh, soon as possible. The cabinets look cheap. They look like they were free. I can't imagine anybody would, you know, want to change the cabinets. I would like something like rich and that says, welcome to the kitchen, are you ready to eat? Mm -hmm. So are you gonna do a cute Tuscan kitchen? Oh no, we're gonna do a serious pasta fagioli type of kitchen here. Pasta fagioli. Le fagioline. La fagioline. Yes. Whatever that means, let's see if they've got big Italian sized plans for the kids room. With the wedding and everything, you guys are ready for your nursery. Boom, done. Mm. Not exactly. What do you mean? Uh, we're looking to change this into an office. What's the style going to be here? I would like a, a more serious tone with maybe mm -hmm. a pop of color just to keep it a little edgy. Yeah, yeah, I would say a professional modern. What are you gonna change first in here? These bookshelves have to go. What's wrong with the shelves? They look like a homemade weekend project gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the bookshelves took a lot of work uh, and uh, it came out really nice and I'm very proud of it. You guys pretty much know what you're doing here. Now we've got the master bedroom. Let's take a look at the master bedroom. Where the magic happens, That's right? That's right. Okay, tell me what magic you're gonna work in here. Well, I think the first thing we need to work on is this nursing home color on the walls. Wait, what do you mean by that? It just, I feel like I'm in, a, I'm visiting my grandma or something. <laughs> so it, this doesn't give you a warm, cozy, serene feeling then? Absolutely, there is no romance in this room. I think that this room has a romantic feel to it. No, there's nothing hanging on the walls. There's nothing that makes it feel like an, an actual master bedroom, like home. Right. Yeah, we need to heat this up a little. So, honeymoon homeowners Danielle and Jeff are spending their wedding money on turning the prince's playpen into an avant-garde office. Funking up the living room with brighter colors and personalized accent pieces. Gutting the kitchen in search of a modern Tuscan look. And changing the green bedroom into a red hot love nest. Hmm, big plans for such a short renovation period. A dream first home is too small for our boisterous family of five. It's getting very crowded. <laughs> Brian plans to use the additional space in the new house to create a home for his most prized possessions. Due to our limited space here, it's been, uh, you know, an issue with my comic books, but now I'm finally going to be able to have their own room. This dynamic duo has big plans, but empty pockets. There's a lot of projects to be done and a lot of work ahead of us, and we're just hoping we have the finances to get them done until they look nice. They found an ideal location for their bat cave 10 miles down the road, which they're buying from 66-year-old widow Heather for $470,000. I like to talk a lot. I talk to anybody and everybody. I talk to the animals. Don't go. Even though they don't answer me. Heather came over from Britain when she was 23 and has been living in this four-bedroom colonial for the past 30 years. My husband passed away 10 years ago, and it took me a long time to, you know, get on with my life. But Heather is looking forward and is selling her home to Brian and Kim, who took me on a tour before moving. This is our dream home. This is going to be your living room, so it, this isn't how you guys are gonna decorate it, right? No. I think the lovely blue carpeting has to go. It looks like it's lingering in the 70s, and uh, we're looking to usher this room into the new millennium. OK. <laughs> but thinking about removing some of these intermediate pieces of molding kind of makes the room a little smaller than, uh -huh. than it looks. It makes you dizzy when you walk in here. Why is that? It's just everywhere. <laughs> It's too much going on. Yeah. The old owner would definitely disagree. The one thing I love about this living room is what my husband did with the framing and the chair rail. I'm still proud of that he had done it. 
even though he cursed a lot when he was putting them up. There's a lot of colors and a lot of, like, pattern. And, yeah, your eye doesn't know where to go in here, does it? No. I know where my eye wants to go. Out of the room. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see if Brian and Kim are as psyched about the kitchen. Uh, this is my kitchen. You seem so excited about that. Not really. <laughs> We're definitely going to change the color theme in here. What's wrong with the color? We're not liking the sorbet green. Really? No. I like my green, especially this green. It's not too crazy. It's a nice color. What, in your ideal world, what would you like? We're looking to take that wall down mm -hmm. and open up this space. So you're going to break the wall down between the dining room and kitchen and create a nice open floor plan, huh? Right. Right. What about the kitchen cabinets? Going to keep those? Actually, we like the kitchen cabinets. They're mm -hmm. definitely solid wood. Right. We're going to probably take down the color a notch or two. Great. Well, it seems like you guys know what you're doing down here, so let's move on to the next space. All right. With three bathrooms in the house, Kim's excited to get one all to herself. No boys allowed. Whoa. Okay. Foil wallpaper. What decade are we in? <laughs> it reminds me of spiders. It scares me. What I love about this room is not the wallpaper. My husband put this up. I don't know what he was thinking of, but I've kept it up because it reminds me of him. Yeah, so you guys have one bathroom at your other house. Okay. Sharing a bathroom with four men is not something I've enjoyed. So, Kim, what do you want for your bathroom? I want it to have that spa kind of feeling. I want mm -hmm. it to be a place I can get away and yeah. get away from the boys. OK, well, from what I hear, I'm going to be scared to go downstairs. So I don't know what you're going to do down there. But let's take a look and see what we've got. To the basement, which Heather has been renting out as a fully functional apartment. <laughs> what am I smelling? What is that stench down here? Apparently, there's a cat living in the walls. And God only knows where it is. I think the man that rented here was sick. He had two cats, and one of them we think he killed. What are you going to have to do to get the smell out of here? Well, we're going to have to demo the whole basement and pick it clean and get rid of the contaminated material out the door. So you're going to make this into what, then? This is going to be a comic book room. Uh, it's always been a, a dream of mine. All right, well, good luck with everything. Um, I'll be back to see you guys in the middle of renovations. So I got to get out of here. It smells. All right, let's do it. After you. My sinuses are all messed up. So Brian and Kim are going to reveal their superpowers by doing most of the work themselves. And their first priority is to knock through the basement to create a home for his prized comic books. Then they'll create a spa bathroom Kim won't have to share with the boys. Remove the chair rail and trim in the living room and demo the wall between the kitchen and dining room to create one large space. With a tiny budget, will it be enough to make a stellar style impression? Coming up, it's moving day. You forgot my lamp and my television. And the demolition begins. I'm hoping that the cat is not uh, still in this wall. This TLC program is sponsored in part by new singles from Frito-Lay. What you got there? Oh, those? They're singles. See, six little, I mean, individual bags that stay fresh because, well, they're the perfect size. You don't think I could handle a big bag, do you? I didn't say that. You didn't have to, Marion. Your little gift said it for you. Stephen, not the bread box. No. Stephen, don't do it. Eat your chips, Marion. New singles from Frito-Lay. Perfect size for perfect freshness. Sometimes cutting calories can mean cutting nutrition. In fact, half of women lack calcium and vitamin D. Well, now there's a way to help add them back. New 0% Plus from Light and Fit. We've removed the fat, removed calories, but kept essential nutrients like calcium and vitamins D and B2, plus 50% more delicious fruit. Light, but not light on nutrients. New 0% Plus from Light and Fit. It seems to me that over the past century, vacuum cleaners have had such an obvious design flaw. It's a wonder we've all put up with it. Because they have four fixed wheels, the only move they can easily perform is a straight line. With fixed axles, you can go forwards and backwards, but it's almost impossible to steer or turn corners. But if you pivot on a ball, you can move any way you want.
At Mercedes, we've always been about engineering. We've engineered performance cars, engineered safe cars, engineered beautiful cars. But right now, we've turned our attention to our latest engineering feat, the Mercedes-Benz Certified Pre-Owned Event. Of course, if it's not certified by your Mercedes dealer, it's not a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz. And hurry in for special 1.9 financing, now through April 30th. Homeowners, do you need help getting out of your adjustable rate mortgage? Meet TopDot. We're turning the mortgage industry upside down. TopDot's not like your traditional mortgage bank. We're authorized by the federal government to offer FHA loans to homeowners with less than perfect credit. That means you can get a low 30-year FHA fixed rate from TopDot starting as low as 5.5% and your credit score may not even be a factor. Applying is easy. Call the number on your screen or visit TopDot.com. With an FHA loan from TopDot, you can pay off your adjustable rate mortgage, consolidate your debt, or get cash for any reason. Call Top Dot now and hear your new interest rate for free. Imagine refinancing and saving $200, $400, even $600 a month every month. Now you can with a low 30 year fixed FHA loan from Top Dot. Call Top Dot today or visit TopDot.com and hear your new rate for free within minutes. At Top Dot, we'll help you view your mortgage from a whole new perspective. It's all been leading up to this. Paul reveals his most important method. I know this is going to seem a little strange. The I Can Make You Thin finale, tomorrow at 9, only on TLC. Next Saturday, on an all-new Date My House, Bob's taking this guy's bachelor pad. I can't take my eyes off the giant tiger. And turning it into a beautiful family home. Oh, my God! Now, he's going to let potential buyers make this house their own for one night. I feel kind of... <laughs> Naughty us any time in somebody else's house? Will a romantic evening seal the deal? This works. Or will they kiss this house goodbye? I'm a little on pins and needles right now. Date My House, an all-new episode, next Saturday at 8.30, only on TLC. It's moving day in Long Island, and Widow Heather is having a hard time saying goodbye to her home, family, and that cat in the basement. 66-year-old Heather has decided to be the boss of the move and has roped her three children... I'll put it right there for now. ...and grandchildren into help. I'm the foreman, and they're my little workers. They oh. usually bust me about, so it's my turn to bust them. You forgot my lamp and my television. The only thing I'm leaving behind is my fish and maybe the cat in the wall. Goodbye, kitty. Yeah. Moving day is also in full effect for Brian and Kim. Even though we're moving on to bigger and better things, uh, I think, you know, sentimentally, this room holds a lot of weight because, you know, we did a lot of work in it. All right. It's been so much work getting here that this day has actually arrived is amazing to us. <laughs> Leaving Grandma's attic, Daniela and Jeff don't have much to pack. That glass side, we're not taking it with us. Yes, we are. No, we're really not. <laughs> no joke, we cannot take. We want to be newlyweds in our own home where we can do what we want and not worry about who's going to hear us. Off we go. Marriage is like a table. You need four legs to stand on it. How many legs do we have? Bye, we'll see you at the new house. With only four weeks of renovation before the holidays, space warrior Brian gets straight to work on his comic book room in the basement. We heard some uh, noises the other day, so um, I'm hoping that the cat is not uh, still in this wall, because I'd feel pretty bad uh, connecting Sledgehammer to Kitty Skull. Safety first. Yeah. In order for uh, this to be the, uh, the comic book uh, lounge of my dreams, there's still a lot of work uh, that needs to be done, but uh, we're on our way. With the basement demolition complete, let's go spend some money. Brian's off to pick up more supplies. In order for us to do our comic book room, we're gonna have to reinforce one of the walls down there, all right? Go ahead and load it up on the cart. All right, we need about 50 more, all right? Let's go. You gotta do homework too, so get this going. 
With Daniela at work, Jeff's first priority is getting rid of the hated homemade shelves and getting his office ready for business. This is definitely one of the first things that has to go because, like we said, we want a, a more modern style, and this is definitely not modern. Comes out pretty easy, actually. Uh, the shelves, I guess, aren't constructed that well. So not that hard to take apart. The bookshelves took a lot of work, uh, and uh, it came out really nice, and I'm very proud of it. After a hard day teaching at school, let's see if Daniela approves of the work Jeff has done. What the heck happened in here? It definitely looks like a bomb went off in here. Better get cleaning, Jeffy boy. Brian and Kim are ready to drop a bomb of their own as they blast the wrecking crew up to Kim's soon-to-be spa bathroom. Captain's log, 2369. The problem with this bathroom is it's stuck in the 1970s, and we are in the 21st century. I don't think I'm doing much. It's going. Come on, Kim. Put some elbow into it. Oh, I see holes. All right, I'm done. It's your turn. Jeez, what happened to girl power, Kim? What you gotta do is you gotta smash and tear, smash and tear all the way. Oh, look at that. But that might need a stitch. I didn't even feel that one. I don't even have time to nurse my wound. I gotta keep going. Whoa, it looks like the surface of the moon. Look at my shirt. It's week two, and Jeff has his dad over to help him say goodbye to the beachy beige living room and add some color. It's a school day, so Daniela is leaving the boys on their own. This is the color that Daniela picked out for the living room. It's bright and yellowy, uh, but we'll see how it looks once it gets up there. I'm getting a little nervous as I see it getting on the roller because it's very loud and bright. Goodbye, peach wall. It's loud and bright, but it's not really space age. Time to see if they receive Daniela's seal of approval. Oh my god, I love this color. This color makes the room look so much better, so much more bright. This color is definitely going to update the house. It's not silver and black, but OK. Brian and Kim have been working until 4 AM most nights, but have yet to get started in the living room. I'm stopping by to see if I can get the ball rolling. Hello? Hello? What's that? How you what, doing? What are you guys doing just standing here? <laughs> I thought there was a lot of work to be done. Yeah, man. This room is really hideous, still. So are you guys going to work on this today? Is that why you're standing here? Yeah, I think we'll maybe we'll get rid of the curtains for you. Please. Curtains? <laughs> there, I got those out of here. <laughs> that, see how easy that was? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Last weekend. All right, now you're going to take all the trim down, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that? <laughs> You know what? I just love getting down and dirty. Good, perfect. Get that thing out of here. Next, time to tear up the carpet. And with Heather's love of animals, who knows what we might find. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. There's one. You want to take a sniff of that? No, thanks. No, I think I will. Let's see. What do we got? <sighs> oh, we got some cat pee. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. <laughs> Coming up, with money running out and no sleep, the renovations start to take their toll on Brian. I'm not sure how much longer I can handle this pressure. This TLC program is sponsored in part by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. So how you like driving that thing? It's intense. Expensive to insure? No. Went with Nationwide, saved like 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Yeah, it's great coverage. Really? I didn't know Nationwide did that. Life comes at you fast. With Nationwide, you could save like 500 bucks on your auto insurance. For a quote, call your local agent or 1877 on your side. Nationwide is on your side. Huh. At Ethan Allen, we can help as little or as much as you like. It's about finding solutions to everyday needs. And now, with our new attractive financing options, let Ethan Allen design a solution that works for you. The Chinese food's still good, honey. Armstrong Genuine Hardwood Floors. Mm. Test it to withstand the unexpected. If you knew this would happen but gave it to them anyway, you're crazy. 
If you encouraged him to try the big boy cup, you're nuts. If you don't have to go back over and clean what your husband just wiped up, then you're a magician. And if a new paper towel were designed to help you be a crazy, nutty magician, then wouldn't you use it? Introducing new Brawny. Now with a softer, thicker, more cloth-like feel. So go ahead, make light of everyday messes. It's time to start your engines. It's time to reclaim the yard. It's time to mow now and pay later. Because now through April 23rd, you'll get no payments, no interest until January 2009 on any tractor purchase of $859 or more with your Home Depot consumer credit card. Only at the Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Monday on TLC, Little People Big World goes green. It's pretty sweet. Amy's replacing her old washer and dryer. It's going to save on energy and water and a little more environmental friendly. Kind of fun. And Jeremy's building a hovercraft. Just exciting to see him have a vision and then make it a reality. You want us to, to fire it up for you once? Would Willis plans for cheap transportation? I don't know if it's going to work. Ever get off the ground? In all new Little People Big World, Monday at 8, only on TLC. On the next all-new Trading Spaces, the designers take a back seat. We went to school for this. And two designing couples take over. You have the design savvy to take this one off. I do. For Trading Spaces first. Double the designers, the design double the fun. Architect. But with the pressure on. It might be a little cheesy. Cheesy. Tempers flare. We're going to kick their butts. Tension mounts. Things are going to fall apart. And the walls come tumbling down. You know what? <laughs> on an all-new episode of Trading Spaces, next Saturday at 9, only on TLC. Danielle and Jeff have been working hard on their love nest, but their kitchen is far from the taste of Tuscan delight Daniela was hoping for. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. How are you doing, buddy? Good. It seems that you guys have a little standstill going on here in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, uh, it's not what I want. I think we should start right here. And you know what? I'm going to help you out a little bit. Let's see here. How's that? Bombs away. Let her rip. Nice. That felt really good. <laughs> wow. Judging by that swing, that girl's got some pent-up renovation frustration. <laughs> Keep going. Nice. Way to go. Scared of you? A little bit. Yeah, good. With the holiday season looming dangerously close, Brian and Kim are struggling to finish their home. Brian's expectations for his comic book room are still high, but working days in the solar power office and nights on the house are taking their toll. The level of stress is pretty intense right now, I must say. I think between the, the lack of sleep and the, uh, the, the amount of work that needs to be done and the amount of time. I'm not sure how much longer I can handle this pressure. I haven't even been able to play with my comic books in like a month and a half. I don't even know if I like comic books anymore. I'm building a comic book room. <laughs> Upstairs, there's no money left in the $13,000 budget for new kitchen cabinets. So Kim has decided to paint the originals to match the new light color on the walls. With all the stress going on, I keep thinking about my bathroom. I can't wait. Pretty much my bathroom is the only thing getting me through these days. Over at Daniela and Jeff's, there are more kitchen delays, and 25-year-old Daniela is not coping well with microwave meals and take out. I hope that our kitchen cabinets are in route. I'm thinking, I don't know. Uh, we did a lot of demo the other day, and this is what's left. Lots and lots of work. We have deadlines to meet, and I don't know if we're gonna make it. And I get a little nervous when she starts speaking other languages because she's so mad. Si no tenemos una cocina, no tenemos una pizza, no tenemos nada. Es horrible. By painting the kitchen cabinets herself, Kim was able to save just enough money for the thing she cares about most, her girl's only bathroom. Oh my gosh, this looks great. I can't wait to take a shower. Wow. 
With the holidays right around the corner and nowhere to cook the turkey, first-time renovators Daniela and Jeff place a last-minute countertop order. I think that's it, so that was pretty easy. I sure hope they measured correctly. Next, they're moving on to the neglected master bedroom. Actually, Jeff chose this pink color. I think it looks the best out of all the colors that we chose so far. So this is definitely an improvement over the hospital green that was here. But since it's the first time we actually have owned a house, uh, we didn't know what to completely expect, but we're getting used to it right now. It feels like a huge responsibility, but it's a lot of fun so far. <laughs> How nice. With their entire budget spent and just hours before I arrive, Brian and Kim are putting the finishing touches to their home. What is this? I don't know. Should we open it? Come on, Brian. No time to be fooling around. There's painting to be done in the living room. All right. It's got color. First-time buyers Daniela and Jeff are having just as hard a time finishing off the last-minute details in their home. I'm liking the color. But where are your countertops? I'm definitely glad that this is one thing I do not have to take care of. Um, and it's always better to have it done by two guys who know what they're doing. Jeff and I have definitely had some unexpected lessons in, in getting this house ready. Um, it's been an experience. Coming up, the renovations are complete. Let's take a look and see what you got. Or are they? You seem to be missing a few things here. What's the story? If you have just renovated your house, make sure your insurance policy is updated to include your new additions. Nationwide is on your side. Saturday, April 26th, get a sneak peek of the first Green Network. No more wire hangers! <laughs> the all-new series, Wasted at 9. Followed by Queen of 8, Saturday, April 26th on TLC. Tuesday, troubled, tormented, or just plain evil. I shoved her. I saw the body go under, and I walked away. Then, a killing spree haunts the city, followed by sex, money, and murder. A night of all new Dateline Mysteries begins Tuesday at 8, only on TLC. This TLC program is sponsored in part by The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. It's time to invite style outside. It's time to milk this summer for all it's worth. Because only the Home Depot is unveiling the first outdoor collection of Thomasville furniture. Bringing Thomasville style and Home Depot value to your backyard. It's time to be the coolest house on the block. Start today at the Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Water makes you feel better and a lot less irritable. So make your body happy. Drink Aquafina. Some cruise lines tell you who to eat with. Then there's freestyle cruising. Only from Norwegian Cruise Line. Where well, you're free to whatever. At Mercedes, we've always been about engineering. We've engineered performance cars, engineered safe cars, engineered beautiful cars. But right now, we've turned our attention to our latest engineering feat, the Mercedes-Benz Certified Pre-Owned Event. Of course, if it's not certified by your Mercedes dealer, it's not a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz. And hurry in for special 1.9 financing, now through April 30th. When you buy a New York Life policy, it's not about you. It's about doing something completely selfless for the people that matter most to you. Because you're insuring, they'll always be taken care of. New York Life, the company. Houseplants make your home look beautiful, but having to water them all the time can be a big job. Forget to water them, and they can end up looking like this. Give them too much water, and you can end up with a big mess. Well, now, there's Aqua Globes. 
a hand-blown glass ornament that waters your plants for you. All you do is fill the aqua globe with water, then press it into the soil. That's it. Your plant stays perfectly watered for up to two weeks. Here's why. As soil becomes dry, it releases oxygen into the aqua globe, which in turn releases the exact amount of water your plant needs. You can't overwater, you can't underwater. Such a simple solution. Call now and get a set of two aqua globes for just $14.99. But call right now and we'll double the offer and give you two more aqua globes free. That's right, you get four hand blown glass aqua globes plus the gift boxes. All for only $14.99. Call 1 800 710 3514. That's 1 800 710 3514. Call that. After just four weeks of late nights and long days, first time buyers Danielle and Jeff are finally ready to show off their new home. See you later. But are all the rooms as complete as they'd like? I'm back to find out. The Beachy Beige Living Room is now slightly brighter, but absolutely nothing like they said it would be. So this is how newlyweds live, huh? Yes. How's it feel? I can't even describe it. It's awesome. We spent the time, we picked it out, we made the decision together, let's buy this. Everything we did together in this room. Is this your idea of the funky eclectic? Yeah, I would say this is definitely our idea of funky eclectic. This bright yellow seems traditional, I think it has a little edge to it. It's a little brighter than the normal yellow. Mm -hmm. You had the example of a you know, piece of artwork you guys were talking about uh, that was inspiration, that was wild and funky. So how do we go from funky, young, and fun to um, traditional, formal funk? This is the first room when people walk in. I didn't want to scare anybody away, so I wanted to keep it interesting. <laughs> Lamo. Next, the dated blah kitchen is now, well, um, unfinished. Well, this is our kitchen, or what's supposed to be the kitchen. This is the kitchen, huh? Yes. Now, you seem to be missing a few things here. What's the story? Our countertops, MIA. They should be coming now. We definitely had measuring issues when we started. We measured, um, which we shouldn't have done. I'm not good with numbers, measurements. Yeah. Do you, do you have a tape measure around? I don't want to see a tape measure ever again. There are two sides to a tape measure, as you can see. One is inches, and one is centimeters. We're done what with side this. were you using when you were measuring? We were definitely using the inches side, but we didn't <laughs> use it very effectively. All right. The golden rule of construction is... Measure, measure twice, twice and cut, cut once. once. Exactly. You'll go far with that. <sighs> so a poor showing in the kitchen. On to the handcrafted baby's room. Now a supernova space for a budding attorney. Doug, this is our office. We put in our fair share of work in here. Bright orange. Yes, we took the plunge with the orange. Yeah? I love it. So it's a bit Halloween-esque, right? Uh, I guess so, but I think it's also very modern. I like the contrast of the black and the white and the orange. I think right. it goes. Yeah. When we initially started this project, we thought that that really captured our, our style. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thought we'd put it up there just as a friendly reminder of where it all began. In outer space? Is that where it began? You know what? Yeah, sometimes this whole project was <laughs> out of this world difficult. Well, thank goodness they left the space theme on the moon, giving their bedroom a racy red makeover instead. So this is the romantic bedroom, huh? This room is by far my favorite. I love the color we chose. It screams Jeff and Daniela. I love it. Yeah? It's Jeff, you feel the same way? Absolutely. It's definitely a nice change from the uh, old dull green that they had in here. Oh, the nursing home green or yes. the grandma green? Yeah. Uh, you had a few comments about the previous owners not having much on the walls, and here I'm looking at the same thing. Is it the room that fights things hanging on the walls? Do they just, like, start falling off, or w what's going on here? The whole arrangement of the windows especially makes it difficult. Where are you going to put a picture or something to make it look balanced in this room? Well, you can put one here. You can put one, a couple things above the bed. What do you got in here? Oh, really? Mm. Coming up, opinions differ when Brian and Kim return to tour their old home. I like the kitchen better the way we had it. What? 
next Saturday on an all-new Date My House. Bob's taking this guy's bachelor pad. I can't take my eyes off the giant tiger. And turning it into a beautiful family home. Oh, my God! Now, he's going to let potential buyers make this house their own for one night. I feel kind of... <laughs> Naughty, I'm spending time in somebody else's house. Will a romantic evening seal the deal? This works. Or will they kiss this house goodbye? I'm a little on pins and needles right now. Date My House, an all-new episode, next Saturday at 8.30, only on TLC. Bosch dishwashers are not only the most energy efficient and environmentally friendly, they're also the quietest. It's not surprising that J.D. Power & Associates ranked Bosch dishwashers highest in customer satisfaction. Save up to $100 on all Bosch dishwashers and refrigerators, only at Sears. Bosch, invented for life. Save! And Pinello's out to argue. What a great call! You're doing a fantastic job, but people expect me to come out here and be upset, so I'm going to kick some dirt. You understand? Yeah, I understand that! Well, lately I've been feeling happy and content. Yeah, you seem different. Lou is really giving it to him. You Drinking water makes you feel better and a lot less irritable. So make your body happy. Drink Aquafina. At Ethan Allen, we can help as little or as much as you like. It's about finding solutions to everyday needs. And now, with our new attractive financing options, let Ethan Allen design a solution that works for you. When your cat needs help finding her own litter box, you know something wonderful has happened. Like Fresh Step Litter adding odor-eliminating carbon. Carbon that helps keep odors from ever leaving the litter box, so it's almost like not having one. Fresh Step, a giant step for freshness. And try new, improved Fresh Step non-clumping with odor-eliminating carbon. Need contact lenses? You could. Get in your car, drive to your eye doctor, wait in line, pay more, wait a week, drive back, pick them up. Or call 1-800-CONTACTS. We deliver. You save. Don't miss the finale of I Can Make You Thin. It's all been leading up to this. Paul reveals his most important method. I know this is going to seem a little strange. Just try this. The I Can Make You Thin finale, tomorrow at 9, only on TLC. Over the last four weeks, first-time renovators Danielle and Jeff have attempted to give their new home a funky, eclectic spin. But when old homeowners Brian and Kim return... I'm curious. Will they feel it's a mission accomplished? I'm a little nervous about going in there. What do you think? I know, I'm nervous. Our house we loved for six <laughs> years might be different. Different indeed. Remember the calm, beachy living room? We love this room because of the color. It gives it a nice, open feeling to it. It's been painted over for a burst of sunshine. How about Brian and Kim's old white kitchen? I can't imagine anybody would, you know, want to change the cabinets. It's been targeted for the chop and replaced, well, nearly, with dark green wood and green. And who could forget Brian's treasured homemade bookshelves? The bookshelves took a lot of work, uh, and uh, it came out really nice, and I'm very proud of it. They've been buried alive to create space for Jeff's home office. So Kim and Brian came through. What do you think the reaction was? I would say that they would like it because their style was uh, very uh, boring. So <laughs> I think we spiced it up a lot. All right, well, let's take a look and see. The sandy, loungy living room has been washed away with a splash of exotic funk. Well, kind of. Wow. Wow. Brighter, actually. Yes. So what would you say is the style of this space? I think it's a little more formal than we had it. Formal? We had it more relaxed and casual. Relaxed and casual. This is fun, hip. What else is different? Mm. The color. It's still yellow, <laughs> it's but still it's a brighter yellow. <laughs> Similar. It's mm. a completely different yellow. It's mm. like a funky yellow, you know? It's a real kind of bright yellow. She, Thank she you. Noticed. All right, are you ready to walk into the next room or do you want to just stop it right here and walk out the door? 
Let's just get out of here right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come, on, come on. Come on. The kitchen with a shrine to the beach. A work in progress. Still to be tweaked. Drop the curtain. Wow. Wow. Do you like their countertops? Yeah. Those are uh, very interesting. They're transparent. All right, don't even go there. <laughs> Yeah, the fact that the renovation is incomplete definitely looks a little strange. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. No sink, no molding. We're new. This is a new thing for us. All right, us. so you learned a lot. Yeah, we did. A lesson learned, definitely. If there was an area in the world that this kitchen could be placed in, where would that be? I think suburbia America. <laughs> yeah. It seems very classic. It seems just kind of traditional. What? Oh, suburbia America. Your kitchen. Let's go back to your kitchen. I like the kitchen better the way we had it. <laughs> what? How is that even possible? Did she just say that? From playtime to homework. They are getting funky, wow, funkier. Who, whose room was this? I don't know, whose room was oh my this? Gosh. Can't recognize it at all. No, no more wainscoting. They took the wainscoting down. No more bookshelves. No more bookshelves. Oh my God. I built those bookshelves. <laughs> I know you did. Those bookshelves were horrendous. That really bothers you that they took those shelves down, doesn't it? I had a feeling something terrible was gonna happen in this room. I feel bad, he looks a little hurt by that. Three strikes, you guys are down. <sighs> Not in my book. What book would that be then? On to the master bedroom. Now a naughty newlyweds love nest. Wow. Now this is nice. Very uh, luxurious feeling. Hallelujah, Finally. we have one. Thank you. <laughs> it's about time. Is this a romantic color? I'm not a big fan of the color red, so I don't like the window treatments. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not sure about gray either. I'm not sure if that is romantic. It's not gray. It's okay. slate pebble. It's gray. It's like a purpley gray. It's gray. It's not gray. How about the furniture? Do you like it? I think it feels a little cramped. Mm -hmm. I have the, the setup of the bed, and uh, it feels a little claustrophobic in here. The way we set it up was much less cramped than the way ha they had it. Well, I have to say, thank you for coming by and taking a look. I hope you enjoyed walking through. Did yeah, you? Yeah, this was awesome. Yeah. We had a great time. Yeah. It's really interesting. I'm very proud of you guys. As much as I've ribbed you, you know what? I'm very proud, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Group hug. Yeah, hug. good for you guys. <laughs> now it's time for Brian and Kim to show me what they've been up to for the past month. Trying to launch a time-warped home into the new millennium. Can't wait to see what you did. We're excited. All right, let's go check it out. The dizzying boxes and cotton candy colors have been replaced with some blue paint and not much else. This is our beachy blue living room. Beachy blue, oh my God, you guys made it. We did. We did. <laughs> it was a photo finish, <laughs> was it really? Yeah. Did you get any sleep last night? None. <sighs> Worth it in the long run? Yeah, we're really happy with this space. Um, you know, it's definitely still got the uh, formality of a you know a nice sitting room or mm -hmm. cup of tea room, but uh, it has our own little touches. Yeah, it's interesting to walk in here and see all of the panels taken off the walls. It feels a little more open in here now that these uh, intermediate moldings are gone. So, what do you call this creation <laughs> that you made here? We call this home. Ah, now from brown and green to white, open, and clean. This is our kitchen. This oh is it. Oh, God. Look how wide open it is. Wow. This is a whole, whole new space. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we're really excited about it. I remember a very strong green paint color in this kitchen. You couldn't live with it? No. You needed sunglasses to be in this kitchen before. So now why this color? This actually is the same color we had at the other house, the exact color. Is it really? It is. I thought it looked somewhat <laughs> familiar, yeah. So what all did you do? We uh, recycled the cabinets by painting them. Wise choice. Mm -hmm. You went from a dark 
natural wood to, to the white, right? Yeah, they were good, uh, hard, you know, hardwood uh, cabinets, and we just pulled, we pulled them all off, sanded them, and painted them. They were very nice and smooth. Hated silver wallpaper transformed to terrific tan tile. Is this your spa bathroom? This is my spa bathroom. Well, it's a huge transformation compared to what it was. It has a very high-end look to it, you know, the, the glass enclosure and the tile work and the wainscot and chair rail. I mean, it really does look nice. A nice place for me to relax mm -hmm. and be away from the boys. Oh, you got a shower head up top. Yes, a oh. rain shower. Oh. Nice, right? Can I turn it on right now? No. No? <laughs> a cat pee haven jettisoned to outer space. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. This is the basement. This is my little oasis here. I call this the comic book room lounge. This isn't the same place I visited before. It can't be. No. It smells a lot different. We ripped out all the sheetrock and some of the framing, and once we got rid of that, it improved. Yeah. Now, what was the uh, reason for the mural? You know, I just wanted a place to be able to leave the planet every once in a while, and I uh, thought, what better than uh, out of space? <laughs> so now you decided to put down a tile floor instead of putting down a carpeting. Any specific reasoning for the, the color? Yeah, well, it kind of went hand in hand with the mural. I, f I wanted this to be like the moon uh, landing here to go with our Titan moon man. With all this craziness going on, you know, and you worked very hard, took on a lot. What kept you motivated? At the time was a challenge, and uh, our motivation was uh, to create the dream house for our family. I just have to commend you for pulling this off in such a short amount of time on a shoestring budget. So congratulations. Thank you. Next, when the old homeowner returns, find out what really went on in her kitchen. He was always like that, every room we were in. Oh, Lord. Bob's giving potential buyers a night alone in this home. I feel kind of <laughs> naughty. I'm spending time in somebody else's house. Will it seal the deal? This works. Or will they kiss this house goodbye? Date My House, an all-new episode, next Saturday at 8.30, only on TLC. Saturday, April 26th, get a sneak peek of the first Green Network. No more wire hangers! <laughs> the all-new series, Wasted at 9. Followed by Queen of 8, Saturday, April 26th on TLC. It's really cute. Don't you love the sunroof? Yeah, especially this time of year. How's the insurance on it? You won't believe. I went with Nationwide and saved like 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Yeah. Coverage is great. Huh. I didn't know Nationwide did that. Life comes at you fast. With Nationwide, you could save like 500 bucks on your auto insurance. For a quote, call your local agent or 1877 on your side. Nationwide is on your side. Uh huh. Your taxes are due in less than a week. Fortunately, there's a federal free edition at TurboTax.com. Armstrong Genuine Hardwood Floors. Tested to withstand the unexpected. At Mercedes, we've always been about engineering. We've engineered performance cars, engineered safe cars, engineered beautiful cars. But right now, we've turned our attention to our latest engineering feat, the Mercedes-Benz Certified Pre-Owned Event. Of course, if it's not certified by your Mercedes dealer, it's not a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz. And hurry in for special 1.9 financing, now through April 30th. You can see it. Feel it. Try to touch it. Grow things in it. Even worship it. But imagine capturing the sun's power and making chips with it. So you could finally, finally taste it. Now sun chips from California are made with solar energy.
2008 Toyota RAV4. Rated at 27 miles per gallon, you're good to go. Anywhere. Lease one now for just $249 a month. Toyota, a smart way to keep moving forward. Dunkin' Coffee is the freshest you'll find. It has to be. We serve more than 30 cups per second every day. There's no time for it to get old. Pity we couldn't all be that way. America runs on Dunkin'. your favorite numbers and play numbers and win four from the New York Lottery. So what numbers do you want to hear today? With a shoestring budget and a four-week renovation, Brian and Kim have struggled on their journey to their dream home. I'm not sure how much longer I can handle this pressure. With old owner Heather back for a tour, will she think their effort's been worth it? Oh, you locking me out? <laughs> yeah, I lock out all men out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to come to this man. Is it going to be uh, emotional for you? A little bit, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, let's 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 walk up and take take a look and see. Okay. Remember the trim on Heather's living room wall? The one thing I love about this living room is what my husband did with the framing. <laughs> They've been torn down for a more modern, spacious feel. What about the old sorbet green kitchen? I like my green, especially this green. Knocked through with a lighter color and painstakingly refurbished cabinets. And who could forget Heather's foil papered bathroom? My husband put this up. I don't know what he was thinking of. Gutted to create Kim's dream spa bath. Now, Heather came through and took a look at your house. Do you think she liked it? Yeah, I think there's definitely going to be some stuff she liked. Let's take a look and see what she had to say. From quaint to quiet. Here's your old living room. She doesn't like it. I'm not too keen on the color. No? No. No. Oh. That was one of our main decisions, was the color. What's wrong with the color? The room looks smaller than it was. Smaller? Oh. It looks so much smaller with all that wood on the walls. I, don't, I just don't like the design. The paint doesn't even go with anything. What? What doesn't go? <laughs> the, paint. the paint. The paint, beachy blue. Yeah, it's a lot different. It's, uh, but this is somebody else's taste, not mine. I'm shocked she doesn't like it. Are you ready to move forward into some of the other rooms, like the dining room and kitchen? Brace yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope I got something nice to say. <laughs> From a grandma's green to a wife's light white. Why don't you open your eyes and take a look? Oh no! What a face! Uh oh! I knew they were going to change the kitchen. Yeah. They took the wall down. They sure did. Yeah. The kitchen is nice. You like the kitchen? Yes. She likes it. Wow. Yay. There you go. I do like the kitchen. There's not much I don't like about it. Mm. No. Now, so Heather, your green paint is gone. I loved the green. It was uh, light and it was fun. <laughs> we need to come back into the <laughs> 21st century. I'm sure you had lots of memories in this kitchen. Anything in particular? My husband was always behind me when I cooked. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing behind you, pray tell? No, he, he was always like that, every uh, room we were in. Oh, Lord. From 70s silver to la -de da spa. Come and see your old master bath. Oh, what a difference. It's a nice difference. It's a nice difference, see? Now, do you get the sense of a spa bathroom in here? Not really. Mm -hmm. Not really. What? Oh, everything in there is spa. The color is so <laughs> relaxing. So what is it, just a bathroom? Yeah, it's just a bathroom. Heather, have you ever been to a <laughs> spa? <laughs> I never did anything to this bathroom. 
Well, didn't your husband put up the wallpaper? I never took it down, but it was the worst wallpaper I'd ever been seen. <laughs> oh, what? see, she knew. What do you think he was thinking when he picked out that paper? I don't know. He must have been pissed at me one that day. <laughs> That's why he put it up. <laughs> so are you ready to go downstairs and see your old basement? Oh, God. Do I have to? From a cat-stained hell to a geek's comic book heaven. What do you think? Walk on in. A look of horror. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't think she likes it. It's not my cup of tea. Well, why don't you have a seat and maybe you'll like it better sitting down. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, no. She doesn't like it at she all. She likes cat pee and, and dirt. <laughs> no. <so. laughs> at least it's clean. True. And not like uh, it was before. <laughs> So how do you feel coming back and sitting in this space? Depressed. Oh, depressed. depressed. Come on now. I think it should be turned back to a basement with nothing in it. <laughs> with boxes, that would be better? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have bathrooms in, in England, and they have this tile on the floor. That's what it reminds me of, a, a bathroom, mm -hmm. a public toilet. What? A toilet? Oh, my God. Well, it really was a public toilet for cats at one point. <laughs> Are you glad you came back, though? I just wanted yeah, to know. I, yeah, I'm glad I came back and saw it, uh -huh. you know, I just to get rid of wondering what I would feel like when I got here. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. the boys will really enjoy the basement if nobody else does. <laughs> exactly. And before we go, in case you were wondering how Jeff and Daniela's Tuscan kitchen turned out. Hey, Doug, um, I thought you'd like to see what our kitchen was supposed to look like. This is my tantalizing Tuscan kitchen to the max. I love it. If you could only smell how good these chicken collards are, you're missing out, Doug. We did it. We're in our kitchen, and we are very happy. Love you. Love you, too. The following program features real people taking risks with real money. Flip at your own risk. Jeff Woodhouse and Brian Bunton are best friends flipping their first house in Arlington, Texas. They love to rip on each other all day long. Everything's so flat. I think it's fabulous. This, did you say fabulous? What do you think about the paint colors, though? Oh, what am I asking you? You're colorblind. You can't That's do right. crap. But will things turn personal when one of them can't pull their own weight? He's always sitting in the truck for some reason. I don't know, I don't know what he does in there, but I'm trying to see if he can help out a little bit. Arlington, Texas. Because of its central location with the greater Dallas-Fort Worth area, this city houses many of the area's sports and entertainment complexes. And with booming commerce comes a high demand for homes, attracting flippers looking to cash in on this city's stable and mature housing market. I'm Jeff. And I'm Brian. And, and this, this is our flip. We've known each other since we were 15 years old. Um, we've been best friends since then. And we decided in the last couple years to get into uh, real estate, and that's what we're doing now. Brian's probably one of the most quirky people you'll ever meet in your life. He used to be a mortician, so he's as far out there as you can possibly get. You know, as you can see, he's a little quirky himself, which is what we're probably friends. But, uh, you know, he's, he, he's different, too. 